Cody Garbrandt. Well, they don't come a lot more popular around these parts than Cody, no love Garbrandt, the team alpha male staple and former UFC Bantamweight King trying to get back on the throne. From the moment Cody Garbrandt stepped into the octagon, you understood that you were watching a future UFC champion. In his UFC debut, he knocked out Marcus Brimage, and then it was only up towards the title shot from that moment on. Realized that championship by beating one of the greatest Bantamweights of all time in Dominic Cruz. Might be the best athlete in this Bantamweight division. Skill for skill, he'll try to put it all together here tonight and make a run back to the Bantamweight title that he held when he beat Dominic Cruz, as you mentioned, back in 2016. There's only one king of Rio de Janeiro, and you are looking at him, Jose Aldo, making the walk here for yet another big, high-profile UFC fight. One, if not the greatest featherweight of all time is Jose Aldo. Not often do I get starstruck, but to watch Aldo make the walk in Rio is truly a one-of-a-lifetime experience. I'm glad I got to do it. He is a star of the highest order. Aldo's title run was something to behold. It was so special. Every time you watched him, you knew that the fight could end at any moment, and you knew that you were watching one of the most skilled fighters across the board. And the reason, the primary reason most believe he is the best featherweight of all time, seven successful defenses, to your point, in that first reign as the UFC featherweight king. All right, now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. Garbrandt is 29, Aldo is 33. Garbrandt is one inch taller. Aldo will have a five inch reach advantage. All right, we send it Ladies inside the octagon this is to the veteran voice, the Bruce Buffer. main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Sacramento, California, USA, Cody No Love Garbrandt. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Alba Jr. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Well, there is nothing quite like calling fights here in Rio de Janeiro, I'd imagine, for the athletes. Nothing quite like making that walk. Here we are back in Brazil once again. For the Brazilian athletes to see their colors being flown, to see the crowd going crazy every time. There were nights where Brazilian fighters could not lose. They have won 10 fights at times in this arena because they take so much energy from the crowd. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Straight right hand, no good. Very nice leg kick there by Cody Garbrandt. 
out of range with that one. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Allen. Just missed with that right hand. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Alden. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Just unable to quite find that range. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Just missed with the left there. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. And they separate. Big kick land. Nice right hand. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. That's a good right hand. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Jose Allen. Big kick land. Lands the right hand. Misses with the right hand. Hands higher, hands higher. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, misses with the jet. Man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Aldo gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Misses with the jab there. Nice one, two there. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Garbrandt's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Flips the punch nicely there. Effective strike there by Alba. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Well, 
good pace to this one. Round two is here already. The King of Rio, Jose Alba, and Cody Garber. All setting up the left hook, but out of range. He blocks the punch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Checks that leg kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Lester. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, as my favorite back group Onyx would say, stick and move. Right there. Beautiful slip off the center line. There. Yeah, what a great job. Of it. And it doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Wow. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. to mix it up. Ooh. He's getting hurt here. Oh! Oh, his opponent's swarming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man. That's it. Oh! And there comes the stoppage. He got him! What a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 44 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Jose Aldo Jr. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.